Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On, and in this video we'll be looking at something rather special, the brand new Walkera F210 3D. At the beginning of this year, Walkera, a very successful brand in the industry, released the F210 Standard Edition. This was one of the very first ready-to-fly FPV quadcopters in the market. It could literally be flown straight out of the box because it came with the transmitter and even the battery. They then introduced the F210 3D just a few months ago. This is pretty much the same model, but with enhanced flight controller and different speed controllers, which allow the motors to be reversed in direction mid-flight. That lets you do things such as flying upside down, which some may see as a gimmick, but it's very fun. Now I'm new to FPV. I've been flying planes, helicopters and quadcopters for perhaps about 22 years. So the next series of videos will talk about how to get into FPV, from choosing your first quadcopter to choosing goggles, receivers, and then just how to fly. So subscribe now to be noted when this series is released and enjoy the rest of this video. We're gonna start by unboxing this. Okay, so I've spared you the, um, the boredom of having to watch me unwrap it from the external packaging, and this is now the box itself. As you can see, they've obviously saved a little bit of money by not rebranding the original F210 packaging, and instead they've just stuck this additional sticker onto the outside. On the side here, we've got an indication of what's inside the box, so it's shipped with the Devo 7 charger, uh, ready to fly, Battery's not ticked, interestingly, and it should include the battery, so we'll check that when we open this up. And I can't say that I've been more excited, actually, about unboxing anything for quite some time, so this is quite exciting. So inside the box, first of all, we have a nice foam laser-cut F210 in the lid. Not F210 3D, which is a shame, but hey. And there is everything inside the box. So we've got, first of all, a nice manual here, quick start guide with a CD. And of course, first of all, we'll look at the F210. And that looks absolutely incredible. We're gonna look at this in detail later. So initially we'll just look at what's in the box, but that is so impressive. We'll get onto that again later. Okay, so we do have a battery, which is really good. Um, it's nice that that's included. Looks like it could have been an option, um, potentially so, but we've got one in this box, which is a really good sign. Uh, here we've got some tools and some additional little accessories. Uh, cowlings, now we've got a blue cowling and an orange cowling here. You'll notice actually that this F210 3D doesn't have the blue props and the blue cowling fitted out of the box, which is unusual because I've looked at some other unboxing videos online and they do show that out of the box they are fitted with the 3D accessories. So rather odd, it could be a European versus American thing, who knows, but at least these are bundled with the F210. So you've got the blue cow there and an orange cow to differentiate your model if you're racing against other people uh, with the same aircraft. Uh, plug in there and we've got some cables, so a transmitter signal cable and a USB cable as well, perhaps for programming the flight controller. Fast charger here and it's really good to see that this is a balanced charger. So straight out of the box we've got a really good charger here for a lithium polymer battery that means that if we're not an experienced RC fanatic and we don't have a, a LiPo charger already, this comes with one. That's really good. In here we have some spare props and this is really good to see. Um, that it has two spare um, pairs of props for the standard uh, regular 2D flight. It also comes with the 3D blue props which we we're expecting to be fitted to the aircraft out of the box. Odd that they're not, but they are included anyway, which is good. And finally, the Devo 7 transmitter. And this, considering this is a bundled transmitter, and it's not exactly just a basic transmitter either. It looks really, really impressive. It's programmable. It feels really good. It's a good weight. Um, it looks like it may include the battery as well. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so it takes pen light batteries, unfortunately, AA batteries. Um, 
but we could easily replace that with a chargeable lithium polymer pack for re reliability. And of course you'll get far more life out of those than you would individual AA batteries. Okay, so all in all, really, really impressively packaged. The foam is of really good quality. In fact, you could lift this foam insert out and install it into a hard case of exactly the same size, and that would act as a perfect carry case for it. But I'm um, overall very, very excited, and this thing looks great. So let's have a closer look at that now. So now a closer look at the F210 3D itself. It is a really, really impressive bit of kit. It just feels really good quality. It's fairly light actually, and there's a considerable amount of carbon fiber on here. But in general, the build quality is just excellent. So this is how it appears straight out of the box. It's literally set up, calibrated, even tested in the factory. The props are installed. It's ready to go, except for attaching your battery, ensuring that the transmitter is bound to it, and off you go. But just a closer look, so around this 3D, um, some of the main improvements that Walcaro have said is that the racer body has been toughened up. So in part, some of the carbon fiber here looks as thick as five millimeters, which is really, really good. The 3D speed controllers you can see here are fitted. They are easily replaced as well. So if you do happen to damage one of those, it's entirely modular. So that can come out and you just install the new speed controller. The flight controller is buried inside and protected away um, from any damage or any um, issues that you might have. The F210 3D also boasts an improved on-screen display. So in the transmission uh, that you, you receive via your screen or your goggles, um, you're gonna get more information such as um, about the unlock function, the battery voltage, the horizon, and also wireless signal reception. So that's an improvement over the previous F210. Um, looking around this, we've got the night vision camera. Night vision might be a bit of a gimmick. You don't regularly see, you don't see much night flying at the moment, but it's certainly growing in popularity. The camera here can be tilted so that when the F210 is flying in a forward motion, the camera can still be pointed up so that you can see where you're going. And it comes with a nice little lens cap, which is a nice little feature. It's worth adding as well that the camera on the F210 3D is not the same camera in the respect that you might think of on a Phantom or on any other um, Hubsan or um, similar aircraft where you're using it to capture high resolution video and photos. That's not the purpose of the camera that's pre-fitted to the F210 3D. This is purely the view that you get when flying the aircraft. So it's a fairly low resolution camera. It does have night vision, but it's not ever gonna capture stunning images. It's purely for navigation and, and, and looking at how you're gonna fly this aircraft. You can, of course, as I mentioned, fit a, a, a camera on top. That's what you would use for capturing high resolution video from this aircraft. The motors, um, are incredibly uh, compact here. It's it's quite impressive just how much power you can get out of these um, tiny, tiny little motors. And they are modular as well so that they are easily replaced if you do happen to damage them. We have um, illuminated displays here. So we've got a light on the front. Um, on the rear, there is also an LED panel which shows turn lights. So as you're turning left or right, um, it indicates perhaps to racers behind you to show them which way that you're gonna go. Um, but it, besides that, even if you're flying on your own, they look great in the air. The antennas here, so this is the antenna for your transmitter. Um, these fold forwards and backwards, uh, which is great. If you do crash and roll the F210 3D, at least these are not gonna just simply snap off and the battery bay, we have a Velcro strap here, easily accessible, and of course this provides great cooling for the battery because it's not surrounded by anything. So in summary, this is a really, really impressive looking drone. As I said before, I'm so excited about flying this, and I've not unboxed something as good looking as this for a long time, so very excited to get onto flying it. Next we're going to look at the other accessories that come with the F210 3D, and then we're going to start looking at the setup and some test flights. So now the transmitter. Now, if you're new to radio control flight, this may be a little bit overwhelming for you. There are a lot of buttons and switches on here and controls that you will probably never touch initially anyway. Uh, but the good thing about this set is that it's future-proofed and it does give you some programmable features that you can use later. These elements here are all uh, used for binding, programming, etc. Don't worry about those for now. If you're new to this, stay very, very well clear. So we have two core switches that are gonna be of interest to you. They are 
this switch here, FND, and this switch here, which is called mix. So the FND switch um, up here is used for controlling which flight mode you're in. When set to zero, that's your standard 2D flight mode, and that's the flight mode initially you'll be using to get used to flying this aircraft. Switching to setting one is then 3D mode, and of course you'll need to install your blue 3D props onto the F210 3D before you use that mode. That's a semi-automatic flight mode. It's going to help you there in flying inverted and flying in 3D. When you're an absolute professional then, you switch to mode 2, and that's going to give you manual mode in 3D flight. So think of this switch as your 2D, 3D, advanced 3D modes. The next switch of interest is MIX. Now, MIX is basically the autonomy of the F210. When set to zero, which we're in now, this is on the most stable possible mode you can have it set to. Um, this basically won't allow the F210 3D to roll. It's going to stop it from flipping or doing any kind of unaccidental acrobatics. So that's your beginner's mode. There's then an intermediate flight mode, which is the mid setting. And this basically has some autonomy. It's going to give you partial stabilization, but it's flexible and it will now let it roll. So you can do some very basic stunts. Finally, 2D advanced flight mode. This is basically where you are in full control of the quadcopter. It's not going to stabilize it uh, at all for you. And it's going to let you have full capability to do stunts, rolls, acrobatics. Um, as much as you're capable of doing, I would stay well out of that setting until you're an expert. So for now, we're going to set ours to mode zero. My F210 3D arrived in the box fitted with the 2D props. These props will not allow the aircraft to fly inverted efficiently, and so when you want to do some upside down flying, you must change the 2D props to the blue 3D props. These props have a slightly different fitment to the 2D props, and instead of screwing on, they are dropped in place and then secured with a nut. This is because they reverse direction in flight, and so the self-tightening style fitment simply wouldn't work. To remove the 2D props, simply twist them in the correct direction to undo them, then place the 3D prop in position and then fix it with the correct securing nut, tightening them gently afterwards with the Allen key and spanner. Now one thing to note, there are two types of securing nut due to the different directions in which the motors spin. The manual states that the nuts are coloured to differentiate them, but this wasn't the case for mine. Instead, all four look exactly the same. This is obviously a bit of a miss by Walkera, but it isn't a major issue because you very soon realise if you have the wrong nut. The F210 3D also includes a LiPo balance charger and even a 4-cell 13mAh 40C battery, which means that you can literally buy this package and fly it almost immediately. Charging is very easy. Simply connect the balance connector to the charger, and after a short time, the LED on the charger will illuminate green and then red. Once charging is finished, the LED shows green again. Now whilst the package does include a battery, you'll need spare batteries because the flight time on the F210 is between 6 to 8 minutes. I have found that the Turnigy Graphene 1300mAh 4 cell battery is a perfect match. It comes with the standard 2 pin connector as well as a balance lead, but better still, it's a 45C battery instead of 40C, and so you'll get a little more poke out of the F210 3D with that battery fitted. Side by side, you can see the Walkera battery compared with the Turnigy Graphene. They're almost identical, and the Turnigy fits into the F210 3D perfectly. I'd recommend it, and links are in the video description for the specific battery shown here. So, that's how the F210 3D arrives in the box. It has everything that you need to be able to fly immediately, and that's exactly what we're going to do next but it will be in part two of this review, where we'll show you how to set it up and then fly it. So please subscribe now to be notified when it's uploaded in a few days, and be sure to visit us on various social media channels. Thanks again for watching, and feel free to comment, like, and share this video. So let's have a go at the punch, see how, um, how rapid this is. Here we go. Wow. That is seriously, seriously impressive.